Cause... Yo, welcome back. Uncensored Logs, how you guys doing today? G Baby, Yellow Bastard, Black Convo, I'm the leader of this ship. I go down with my motherfucking ship, you feel what I'm trying to say? And at the end of the day, today we're going to talk about gentrification. Now, gentrification means to me, where rich people, not necessarily white or whatever, just rich people come into the hood and take it over and kind of slowly but surely start rebuilding the hood up a little bit, you know what I mean? Make it look nice, start bringing different businesses and shit, you know what I mean? Start slowly jacking up the price and kind of moving the the people that was there before out because they can't really afford it anymore or just the access that they were available to before is gone now, you feel me? So that's what gentrification means to me. What does it mean to you, yellow yeah, bastard? Basically the same thing. I won't say rich people. Mm -hmm. I say white people. <laughs> that move into the neighborhood, into a predominantly Spanish and black neighborhood and just run a rough shot over it, you know? And it's somewhat our fault. <laughs> you laugh, but it is. Right. How you feel? So I think everything you said is uh, pretty accurate. And I want to give y'all... Uh, this kind of irritated me because I, I looked up the word I looked up the word on Google and I wanted to get the definition and the definition on Google is the process of renovating and improving a house or a district so that it conforms to the middle class taste and um, that bothered me because if you pay attention to what it says it says it conforms to the middle class class taste. What is considered middle class? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're going into dominantly, because uh, gentrification is happening in dominantly black and brown neighborhoods, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> that's what, then lower class? Right. You're trying to bring in middle class. Is it really middle class that's coming in? Well, some, of some of them can be considered middle class, because some of them really some of them well, let's really... Let's think of the process of gentrification, right? They lower the value of homes, so they come in, you'll start seeing signs around the Lower or uh, uh, no, uh, bring they them lower. higher? First they lower them. They lower them? First they lower them. Uh -huh. they start, then you start seeing, uh, they, they lower the property value. That's what they lower. And that area. Mm -hmm. Then you start seeing signs around your neighborhood that says cash for homes. Mm -hmm. Y'all seen those before, right? right? All the time. Cash right. for homes, right. cash for homes. Those are basically them, they're going to say, oh, well, your property value at this time okay. is this because it was just lowered. Mm. So now they buy your home and to you it's a lot of money. Of course. We can but now you got to use that money to move out of that neighborhood yeah, yeah. because you can't, because then they have to raise it. So now they go resell those houses that they just bought for mad cheap after they raised the property value and now they raise the property value and higher class starts to move in. Right. Then you start seeing what high rises, Pethra of fucking boutiques. Parks and, and stuff like that. Yeah, all types all right. of shit. And people just, the biggest issue is black people, brown people, they don't understand it. They think gentrification is revitalization. Mm, like Y'all know the make, difference? Making the city look good. Like, basically mm -hmm. putting more life into the city because it look, it look quite dead. There's <laughs> a specific difference. I think right? it's fucked up. What's the difference? Revitalization. Re Re Revitalization is when a neighborhood changes, improvements are done, usually for homes to better them like that, right. but it's done from the bottom up through the community and help of the public and private sectors. But mm. neighborhoods remain affordable for mm. low-income people. Mm. So they make the neighborhood better, safer, but, but it doesn't price. push anyone out. You still remain at the same right. price. Right. So gentrification is when you come in and you jet the prices up so people so have to move out. So you're forced to move out. Mm. And then they have different ways of doing it because yeah you have the people that live in low income rent control public housing and gentrification happens they can stay but they have other ways of pushing you out which is their isolation because if you live here but you can't afford anything within a five mile radius of you and every time you want to go grocery shopping because now only thing around foods and stuff like that now you gotta keep driving and wasting gas to go further. Eventually you're gonna move out. All your friends and family was forced out, the ones that didn't live in those protected areas. And then once those people move out, then who does it go to? It's no longer gonna be a uh, protected pricing because everyone in the area can afford higher rents. So the reason why we're talking about this story is the fact that Howard University located in Washington, D.C. 
there's that different community, like a new community is popping up. You feel me? Trying it's to say? gated too, right? But that one part that they call it the the the, the, for the yard, the something? yard, yeah, that part is 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 open, right? And the the new people of the community feel like the Howard students. I mean, the Howard University you need to move. Yeah, what to the move. fuck? Historically black. Yo, it's been there for a hundred and something years. Many and many years, bro. They think the school needs to. Yes. Yeah, Taraji P. Henson graduated from Thurman Good Marshall, Cosby, all that shit. Thurgood Marshall, all of them. But fuck all that. The fact that it's a historically black college. You feel what I'm trying to say? That's been there hundreds of years, and you just because you have a new neighborhood, you want to walk your fucking dog. You think that. They should up and leave. The, the reason why I say that I call those names because it's not like it's a piece of shit school. No, but, but, this is like it's, a, you, it's a school up you. there who motherfuckers look at as okay. Absolutely. Yeah, I accept. I'll accept any. any but I don't care who the fuck go there. Is the fact that it's a historically like it's for us. It's for yeah. it's, it's a monument. You feel what I'm trying to say? You should move the fucking monument, bro, because you want to walk your dogs. Fuck all that, bro. At the end of the day, you need to have the respect for what is there. Now, because you don't see people talking about they should move the University of Miami or should you move you Michigan. You came there and seen the that fuck? shit. It was there Come before on, you. My thing is, when you moved into that neighborhood and this new neighborhood popped up, you bought that house. You didn't buy You didn't the buy community. the whole community. You didn't buy the land that that school sits on. And, and that's, Therefore, what makes you think you are better than any one of those students, staff, or the people that even okay. built that school Fact. to say, well, we bought this house and you need to get the hell out of here for our comfort. Mm. That school was there before you. It's kind of our fault. And that's part of the gentrification because they're pushing out a lot of communities and making them uncomfortable. Yeah, but it's our fault. What do you say is our At fault? the end of the day, it's we our fault. Buy our we don't buy our own property. We all will sit here and, and, and fight over a little spot that we're selling dope in front of. Hmm. Instead of selling dope in front of that one spot and fighting over that spot, buy the block. Rest in peace, Nipsey. He did the, you see what he did? He bought the block because they wouldn't let him do what he wanted to do. And you know the first thing people will say is like, oh, um, well, we can't afford to, uh, to buy it. We can't afford to own our homes. And that's true. But the same way we can afford to go to the gas station and buy beers and do all of this stuff, do you know that in Baltimore and a lot of other um, dominantly ran down neighborhoods, they were just recently selling houses for dollars? Oh, mm, yeah. For I heard dollars. about this. And the only thing that came with it is they were ran down. So that meant when you bought them, you, bought you them got to fix is. it up. Yeah, and that's on you to put but work dollars. in. dollars, the same money you can go to the gas station and buy yourself some Coke, a bag of chips, or whatever, some wrap to smoke, all of that, you could have went and purchased property. Right. And you can own that property. And if black people and invested their money into their future and bought these neighborhoods so that it can't get gentrified that'd later. That would be one way to knock that gentrification and wait, shit out let's the not door. even say it can't get gentrified because it's not like we don't want the community to grow. But we want it to be revitalized, not gentrified. And be We ours. should be able to still stay there and still mm. have the high rises and still have the boutiques and the coffee shops that we can afford because exactly. it's our businesses. Because while we can't have the high rises while we live in there, Look how we while we can't other. get the fucking police to come protect us because they only Why protect is it these places. for gentrification? This I, is my problem. I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Why is it for gentrification? Um, y'all want to fix up the neighborhood, not while we're living in well, we're gone. But y'all, y'all fix it up to kick us out to bring in the higher class and the white people. Why can't we have the nice, like he was saying, why can't we have that? I seen that shit firsthand. I lived that shit. I seen it. 783 Prospect Place between Nelson and Rogers. I seen it. I seen it. I never seen a fucking poodle in my neighborhood ever until now. Right. I see a, poodle. a lot of white people say, why do y'all complain about um, gentrification? It's making the neighborhood it was, better. It's ours, motherfucker. Look, they're saying that us. they're making it better. But, okay, who are they making it better for? We, we can't the ones. To live there. Mm. We it, the it ones. Says, okay, I'm going to give y'all an example, right? Because I gave y'all in the beginning the example of exclusionary displacement. So the other one is direct displacement, right? And the example that I found is imagine you're living somewhere 10, 15 years, and your rent has steadily been 2000 Right, and this is something that you can afford. This is mostly talking in the New York area because yeah. this is where it's basically happening. And then your landlord turns around and says to you, Hey, um, your thing is up in 60 days, and your rent is going to now be three thousand dollars. That is a 50 to 60 percent increase in rent. That's going to force you to have to move yep. because you can't, you, you have, you That's can't. My grandmother that, ended yeah. up down here. 
It's you just how she, the it. same shit she just says, the mm-hmm. same shit happened to my and that's grandmother. that's what was happening in New York. My rent was seven fifty. that's how it became gentrified. Seven fifty. That shit ended up two two thousand something dollars. Right. right. So, so, but so we see it happening okay, a little cool. bit here already with our you. rent every I, couple of months. I got you. Cool. Hey, twenty five, fifty. They keep doing it. Yeah, but they ain't, but they ain't fixing shit though. So check me out. So the neighborhood, the predominantly black and brown neighborhood, are predominantly run down. Right, mm-hmm. and they keep it like they're that. messed up, they're fucked up, they're whatever the case is, right? And it's been like this for, for many years, right? Okay, what can we do as a people in this community? We're doing it now. Well, that's what the, re- We're doing that's it what now. the revitalization okay, is when the community is fixing it, mm-hmm. and that's when we get the private and public sectors to come in. That's the revitalization mm-hmm. where they keep the rent steady and they make it better the neighborhood, the safety, all of that. But well, who's going to stop them from buying the block, though? That's what I'm trying to say. That would be us. We'd have to buy our we own We got property. to buy our own property. We got to start doing that shit, bro. You can't be sitting And it's just, it's not about saying I can't afford it. Because at the end of the day, if you really budgeted, if you really made that sacrifice and sacrificed your, um, oh, I'm going to stop at the store for a snack today or I'm going to buy this extra thing because it's on but sale. But you ain't got to go And you save and you start making the investment into buying the house that you own. After you own the house, you're gonna have the free. You're not gonna have to pay all of that money. You ain't got to go in it by yourself. Neither. You just start making businesses now. Because me and Chris, me and Chris like to go to the store. Why me and you can't patch up money and buy our own fucking store? It's not like oh, I got to do it by you, you myself. Know why? We know, could get a couple why? people to you do that. Why? What you mean you know you what? Know why? Because your ego. That has nothing to do with it. Ego wouldn't let me say what I just said, nigga. Right. I'm willing to put my money with yours to build something. And ego wouldn't want me to do that. The brown community could do that. My ego would, would Imagine, not would, would want to keep you down and push me this. up. Let's think about this. Why is it that whenever there is either a death, mm-hmm. a wedding, mm-hmm. or a holiday in the black and brown community, we can all come together and raise all of this money? in such a short period of time to either bury someone, marry someone, or do this cookout and bring all this food together. But yet, we can't come together in the black and brown community and raise all of this money in however amount and of time buy our take, own and building. everyone start buying our own houses. Buy our building. And the people that's currently renting, help them with deposits to start getting their own houses. Why is that? Because everyone says, oh, this is my money. What do exactly. I need help you for? I want to that's keep this to myself. Ego. I never said that. And that's how this black power should have get started. But if It'll the get black and brown community like could do that and actually come together and help the people that can't do for themselves. Well, then sometimes people we'll take advantage of that shit too, so. Who? Just, just, I don't know who. Some people take advantage of Some people do. Shit. Some people like, oh, I can't help, but I want I want the help in my direction, but, even though they but, can. So that's the nigga you say, yo, you got to get the fuck out of here. If you're not willing to help and, help and be down with the cause, you got the, you got the maneuver. Get out of here. But I say help people that can't. I mean, okay, we own, we're oh. owning our houses. We haven't, like, they're paying um, mortgage, but they're not completely owned. And then you have people that's renting and don't own. Mm. Those people, okay, we're going to help you start to own your house. That's and the people right, that's already right, owning right, them, right. we're going to help you pay it off so you can right. already own it. But it's, this and the people that's making back, that yeah. effort, they yeah. get that power. But it all started back then, but exactly. now people is opening their eyes. Look what we doing here, sitting here, here talking about right now. Right. Imagine if they didn't put in some mortgages. Imagine if they raised all of that money and everyone said, here, open your own business. Mm-hmm. And you use your business to pay off your house. Yeah, we got to start this shit, man. We have many episodes look, talking look, about black ownership. Look, look what we sitting uh-huh. here talking about right now. Right. If, if we wasn't talking about this shit now, we wouldn't be thinking so about it So how can right we start, now. though? Does it, does it take guidance? Because sometimes we don't, we don't know the money. Okay, cool. And discipline. Okay, and how the fuck do we get money? And discipline. What you mean how you get money? You how get what you get up and do every day. Oh, cool. got you. That's you not enough, nigga. It's and you the do discipline anything. part. It's by any means necessary when it's it comes to certain part. things, nigga. Mm-hmm. Exactly, discipline. What's by any point? means necessary, if we gonna do this, bro, it got to be by any means necessary. I don't mean go out there and go no fuck shit, but I mean, yo, Think if of we it. gotta make it happen, we got we to do that. We have been talking about merch for how long? A long time. We've been talking about we want to come out with ideas, we need to come out with designs, we have to talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, okay, but once we actually make the effort and make that move, mm-hmm. and we put that out there, is that not extra income coming in? Absolutely. Is that not another way to start building brands and businesses? Right, so can we stop fucking talking about it and actually fucking do it? You know what I mean? Time to access to to come with a fucking logo and they still haven't done it yet. I'm not no fucking artist. I reach out to other artists and they didn't answer me back. So I don't know what to fucking do. But we need to make fucking logos. We've been on this podcast for almost 10 months and these two talented people can't come up with a fucking logo. That's not my fault. We can't agree on nothing. I don't give a fuck. Y'all need to come up with something. So don't blame me. At the end of the day, 
What do y'all think about gentrification? Is it positive? Is it negative? Is it I think it's neutral. negative. Let us know it's below. Negative. We would love to hear your opinions. Like, we always like to negative. interact with um, our family. Our We're not even going to say fans. Our lockheads. Uncensored lock family. No, lockheads. No, because not all our followers got locks. Fuck that. Okay, that's the point. They got locks in their heart. You know what I mean? <laughs> At the end of the day, man, like, share, subscribe. We, we out. out.